Daytime fasting during the Ramadan month is an important religious practice in Islam. During the entire month of Ramadan, all healthy Muslims abstain from any food or beverage, including water, from dawn to sunset. The daily Ramadan routine causes a sudden change in meal and sleep patterns. The evening meal to break the fast during Ramadan, known as iftar, is rich in carbs and sugars, putting people with diabetes at high risk of developing excess hyperglycemia at night. Nonetheless, many Muslim adults with diabetes continue to observe Ramadan fasting even against medical advice. The International Diabetes Federation and the Diabetes and Ramadan International Alliance have published the Ramadan Nutrition Plan, but no study has determined its effect in a clinical setting. The use of structured nutrition therapy, including the use of a diabetes-specific formula for weight management and glycemic control in type 2 diabetes, is also well established. But these studies have been performed outside the Ramadan period. A new study is looking at the effect of a structured nutrition plan, which includes the diabetes-specific formula versus standard care during Ramadan fasting for people with type 2 diabetes. The study found that patients following structured nutrition therapy versus standard care had lower levels of fasting plasma glucose and lower triglycerides. A reduction of HbA1c was also observed. And self-monitoring glucose profiles at pre-dawn and pre-bedtime improved. This demonstrates that nutrition therapy incorporated with diabetes-specific formula is effective during Ramadan and reduces carb consumption while increasing protein and fibre intake. Additionally, participants of structured nutrition therapy had better continuous glucose monitoring outcomes than the standard care group, which is critical in reducing the risk of diabetes-related outcomes. Ramadan Nutrition Plan is effective for patients with type 2 diabetes observing Ramadan fasting.